Hey, I'm Lisa in the city and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this super classic feminine side parted long hair with a curl look. I mean, talk about a description. If you wanna see this look, keep on watching. Oh my God, was it not recording this whole time? Fuck, okay. I just dumped a bunch of rollers in my sink, put a little towel. We got some, these are foam rollers, like totally old school stuff. Probably your grandma, nona, abuela, they probably have these, so. And I got them on Amazon for like, these small ones, I have, these are like um, an inch and a quarter. I think they cost like two bucks for a package. Super cheap. These were a little more, actually significantly more. I think it was like 15 bucks. I don't know why, like it's literally not that much more foam, but hey, do because they know that you can't just do these. Otherwise you're gonna have tight curls here. They know that we want that like big swoop in the front. That's what they get us. I really only need like, two of these but anyways it is what it is folks it is what it is I ain't mad about it let's do the half C's I'm gonna go half and half I hope I shave my arm armpits um I really should do laser but that's another story I'm all for like trying to make your life as simple as possible I'm like do laser get it done right never have to do never have to worry about that again I'm gonna do another little zippity doodah here what is up with me today? I don't know. Okay, so I'm not gonna do too much in the front because that's gonna like, it's just more like right at the scalp. Just like halfway down. I'm just kind of doing like a halfway down. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing pretty big chunks only because I don't want it to be so straight. I do want to have that bounciness. I don't want it to be like too flat. I just want to take out Kind of like the kinks at the top of like from the scalp to halfway down so i kind of always do those like little hairs right in front of your ears separately so there i will take like a smaller section the bangs i'm gonna kind of leave this situation because they're pretty short so The other thing I'm doing right now is I'm straightening my hair kind of from different angles. So I'll take a piece, do it this way, but then I'll also take like a vertical piece, if that makes sense, like this way. And I do that because really I'm just trying to get at the roots more than anything. And then when I put it in the roller, it's not stuck on just going one way. This is parenting. Let's get a good rest. Yeah. It's manipulating and threatening. All right, I don't want to overdo it too much. So, because sometimes I start really getting into it and then I end up with a totally different look. So stay focused. That's the tip of the day, stay focused. Do a brush through and a swipe. Brush through and a swipe. Brush through and a swipe. A couple of those, keeps it right. Oh yes, you see that? See what I did there? See what I did? All right. Turning in the front, cause that's really where the shape is going to be, so I don't want to flatten it out too much because that's where I actually want the volume. just want to, more than anything, it's like I just want that really smooth, smoothness, sleek and smooth at the top. That's more what we're going for, not so much straight. And I'm going to do a side part, so once we get... I'm not gonna show you that one because got a couple grays there still. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! These top layers is where you really wanna, you wanna get aggressive with the curl. Aggressive with the curl. So this is where I'm gonna part my hair. So we're gonna do a nice side part. I got some grays there, so we're gonna go a little over. Okay. 
So this is the part I'm just going to go over because this is really the part that needs to be nice and smooth is that part right there at the back. This part here, we're going to fix that situation. So I think we're done with this. We're going to start with the smaller ones and we're going to start on this side. I'm going to do it like this first. Now these do really super tight curls. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take a thicker piece of hair like I'm not you don't you don't need to go like super tight with the amount of the strand roll it up right about ear level I'm gonna cinch that up right just this is my ear just above you know what I could probably do one more roll let's fix that so it stays nice and tight. We're gonna, I'm gonna cinch it on this side, I think. There we go. Cinch that up right above the ear. So we have a little bit of smooth and a little bit of cinched. And I'm gonna do, if you can see, I'm doing it, I'm taking hair chunks vertically. I'm not doing it this way. So I think I can do this whole section here and try and wrap that up. This one, I'm gonna go a little bit lower. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Go a little bit lower. Ooh. That's my girl, we gotta do a catch up. I'm just gonna put that whole piece of hair together and wrap it around this one foam roller. And uh, I'm gonna put it at the same level pretty much as that last one. Let's do this way. Clip. Yeah, there we go. Next one I'm gonna do lower. Okay, let's do under now. I'm just smoothing it out before I put it in. Can even do a little, especially for the back because there's gonna be a lot more smoothness. Do a little on both sides, bore bristle brush. So, right about shoulder length now. We're doing the other side. We're halfway there. Isn't that a song or something? Some kind of rock song. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, living on the bread. Here, I'm gonna do kind of like this whole bang situation. I'm gonna take a nice thick piece of hair. I'm gonna bore bristle it. Do a boar bristle brush through so it's nice and smooth. I think this might be the key is brushing it through like that. And this one we're gonna do the ends up and roll back away from the face. Roll it back because we want that nice high, you know, we want that. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna do this piece too, a nice big roller. We're gonna bore bristle brush out. Take it to the back, roll it out. You know, yeah, I'm not gonna go all the way to the roots here because this is really where we want it smoothed out. And now let's begin, same as what we did on the other side. And I'm brushing it, I'm rolling it away from the face. This time, we're gonna do it towards the face. Next piece. At or below the last one. And while I'm here, because now I'm obsessed with this brush, I'm just gonna do a nice, especially around, uh, probably could have done that a little bit better, but it is what it is. These are, because they're foam rollers, they're like 
super squishy. I'm gonna sleep on these, I'm gonna wrap this up, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey! I was gonna say good morning, but it's actually like lunchtime now, next day, wearing the exact same top because it's how I roll, guys. Um, anyways, okay, so I've taken out all of these foam rollers, so they've been in overnight plus an entire morning. Normally I would have done it, like, taken it out first thing in the morning and styled it, but it was, uh, outside in the backyard with my kids, so I just kept it and fully went out in the backyard with all the rollers in and everything. Okay, so let's get started. I'm in the process of moving right now. So it is super crazy around here. Boxes everywhere. And I'm trying to sell a bunch of stuff because I don't want to move it. <laughs> and you know, the good thing about moving is that it forces you to literally go through absolutely everything you own and kind of do a little, what's that chick's name, Mary Kondo? And see like what's worth keeping and what's not. So I'm going to spray this shit up. I'm going to spray it up, spray it up. I have a new hairspray. Mm. It smells so good. Um, let me get that. Where is that? Where are you? Okay, let me get it. I'll be right back. Found it! I actually really love this hairspray. It's Aussie Mega Hairspray with Jehovah Oil and Sea Kelp. So it has a, it's a flexible hold. Definitely gives you a nice hold, but it's not like super stiff. That's what she said. It smells amazing. Spray, oh, that's Smells like the beach. I'm gonna let that set a little bit just because we just took everything out. I do like to do this little bounce back since my body didn't bounce back after pregnancy. Maybe my hair has a better chance. Oh, oh, tell me the battery's gonna die. Yeah, tell me. I'm back. I had to charge the battery. I'm listening to some jazz. So I did my makeup. What do you think? I love this music to get ready. Oh yeah. This is the longest it's taken me to do my hair, for real. Okay, we are gonna do a brush out. Let's see how much battery power. Yeah, I'm doing a slight brush out to loosen the curls. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Really nice big curl. Even though it's a tight curl, once you brush it out, and because it's only in the bottoms, it comes out like, look how cute that is. It kind of has like a little bit of a retro Hollywood glam kind of vibe. So we are gonna go over a couple sections. Smooth this shit out. I like having like the big top with like a kind of like a dip in there. I actually did my hair like this, similar anyways for my wedding. That's kind of it. And it'll just kind of naturally loosen throughout the rest of the day. But so I don't want to brush it out too much because but see how like the curls are really just concentrated. It's smooth here and then the curls are kind of all in here. And there's so much more that you could do like if this was going to be more of a, you know, wear a nice cocktail dress or something along those lines, I'd probably do an even more exaggerated like curl here, like just make it really exaggerated. You are your work of art, however you want to do it so but I'm gonna keep it like this because this is kind of more you know just trying to look put together on a more casual day but I do have some of this this is a product by Lush I have no idea for the life of me what it's called do I have the thing here looks like this you take like the tiniest amount. I don't know if you would call this a pomade or almost like 
a solid version of an oil, but it's kind of just like a little bit of grease for the hair. And I just want to add it to the ends because I feel like a curl looks really, really nice when the hair is super moisturized. I find when my hair is curly, I can put a little more grease in it versus when it's straight, it's just like looks way too greasy. All you see is the oil. So, you know, this will help to let it sit for, a little, or not let it sit, but last, last a little longer because it's not like super dried out and then I don't have to do very much. So this is my look. I hope you like it. If you try it out, let me know. It's just such a nice, feminine, classic look. And you can wear it with jeans, you can dress it up, and uh, you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. That way I know like if this is stuff that you guys want to see more of. And uh, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching again. I'm Lisa in the City, and uh, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>